Well, good morning, and thank you so much, dear friend Roger. And it's so good to be with all of you and see some beloved familiar faces and hopefully get to know some new friends today. As Roger said, I'm Vea Weller, and I'm Senior Philanthropic Advisor at the UUA. And I want to bring you greetings today from more than 1,000 congregations across the association, which is the network of Unitarian Universalists that bring our faith to life. This congregation is a member congregation in the Association of Congregations. What landscape speaks most deeply to you and through you? What is the landscape of your soul? The world feeds us warped messages about what really matters and about our worth. Through constant advertising, we are told directly and subliminally that we don't have enough, we can never get enough, and we certainly can't ever keep enough. What if the truth is literally the opposite of those messages? In a book that you may have heard about or read, from which you just heard a quote this morning, Braiding Sweetgrass, the scientist, author, mother, professor, and member of the citizen Powhatawomi Nation, Robin Wall Kimmerer, writes the following. In a consumer society, contentment is a radical proposition. Recognizing abundance rather than scarcity undermines an economy that thrives by creating unmet desires. Gratitude cultivates an ethic of fullness, but the economy needs emptiness. Gratitude doesn't send you out shopping to find satisfaction. It comes as a gift rather than a commodity, subverting the foundation of the whole economy. Gratitude leads to contentment. Therefore, I propose that we remember to practice gratitude. Kimmerer writes, gratitude may seem like weak tea, given the desperate challenges that lie before us, but it is powerful medicine, much more than a simple thank you. Giving thanks implies recognition not only of the gift, but of the giver. Gratitude is founded on the deep knowing that our very existence relies on the gifts of other beings. Gratitude is founded on the deep knowing that our very existence relies on the gifts of other beings. Our own health, the health of the planet, and the health of our congregations and communities depends on our ability to understand that our existence relies on the gifts of other beings. Humans, of course, are only one thread in the garment of destiny, the brilliant tapestry of life, the ecosystem. Again, Robin Wall Kimmerer. For much of humans' time on the planet, before the great delusion, which I love that she calls what's happening now the great delusion, I just want to say, for much of humans' time on the planet, before the great delusion, we lived in cultures that understood the covenant of reciprocity, that for the earth to stay in balance, for the gifts to continue to flow, we must give back in equal measure for what we are given. And so soon here in this congregation, you will enter into the season of stewardship at the UU Society of Sacramento. And in preparation, I invite you to pay attention from week to week how the gifts of this community flow into you, into your life, and shape the very living of your life. You might notice how the religious education offerings deepen your spirits and encourage your children and youth to be more fully brilliantly themselves. Pay attention to how the gorgeous music allows you to become a part of something larger than yourself. Notice how the messages offered by Reverend Lucy and Reverend Roger and Rosemary stay with you throughout your days. 
how you are introduced to thinkers and writers and artists, activists, and regular people who inspire you to more fully live out your highest values. You might pay attention to how your friendships have developed and deepened here over time, how the community has held and cared for those going through the hardest of times. Notice that you have changed things about your own life because you've been inspired here. Pay attention to the resilience that was demonstrated by your leaders through the pandemic and to the ways in which the larger association supported all of our congregations. Here in this precious place, you'll find support and friendship for a number of refugee families from Afghanistan who have become part of this community and part of your families. Here you will be inspired to continue doing internal work on racial justice, equity, and inclusion. This spring, you'll be putting solar panels and landscaping in your meadow with native plants and clover. Your values are being lived out here, and your lives are richer for it. <laughs> 